Yeah, we ain't here feeling no more. Don't do that. That's hot. You said the north. I'll tell you what I'll do, just for you. I'll bring me a pair of pants with me, and you bring a pair of shorts, and that way we can flip flop. I don't have any flip flops. I didn't bring flip flops. Honestly, the plan is to pull out as many fishing poles as I can and get as many, at least bites as I can. All day. Pull out as many of these rods as possible. And son, I got them. I got them. <coughs> Frog a little bit. Up a little bit. I'm gonna put the spinner rod up a little bit. We're gonna throw this top water because I've never caught one on, in Florida on a top water on a prop bait. Really? Ever. Hell, it ain't never been warm enough to throw it. What a life to live. Uh-oh, he's on me. No, the grass ain't the same. All them clumps are gone. Yep, this is gonna be a shallow water deal. 100 billion percent fuck. I'm gonna run us over here real quick. I hope Elijah. I will not be fishing out. It's just too warm, dude. You're not gonna win out here. They're leaving too quick. You need to find somewhere where they're rolling into. I knew that was crappie. I was about to say, them crappie look like that.
So they're all in boat trap. Spawn out there on that shit. Everybody wants to run in these little bays in these pockets. That ain't where them fish spawn at. Like you would think they'd be up there in them pads up shallow. I mean, dude, I just hit that whole island right there. Never had a bite. If you get around something, like I could easily caught two, four pounders right there. Came back in here and caught 20 pounds the next day on swim view. I'm just telling you, it's luck. If you're lucky enough to roll into the right little area where it's happening, good job. I'm about to lock down and go to Cypress. Cypress is a little bit smaller. I can manage it. Like I can figure out, hey, they're not up here. They're in that mid depth. And I've always done well down that way anyway. What will be quicker, running down there or trailering down there? <laughs> I'm about done with up here. All right, midday update. Toho was not really that well to me. I mean, I... here's the problem with Toho for me. There's so much grass, like that coontail hydrilla, I guess you would say, that's like muffed out all those little back, back areas where you would think they'd be spawning at. I don't really like that. Not saying they ain't gonna get caught back in there, but like historically, man, I, I've just been to Toho many, many times, and every time I get up there shallow, I don't catch them that good because it's all muffed out, blown out. And I think a lot of them fish spawn out there on those flats, and uh, I just ain't, I wasn't really feeling it. I have not been to Cypress in several years, so I want to go down here and check it. Like today is going to be really good to go check stuff out, I guess you would say. Because it's going to be windy, like 25 mile an hour winds tomorrow. So, more ease down here. I could have locked, but I was like, well, by the time I lock run down there, I can just trailer. It's about the same because it takes 15 minutes to lock. And uh, it just ain't <coughs> the same drive down there. 20 minutes. It ain't like we're just missing a lot. Yeah. I don't think they're really snapping. This afternoon they're gonna be biting. I just didn't. I don't feel like lying around out in the middle of space when it's 70, 82 degrees. Yeah. I know that they're gonna get caught up flipping shallow and pads. And there's more isolated pads and like, to me, I like it down here better. I got more options. I go to Cypress, I go to Hatch. See me if I wanted to run down there too, but I just ain't. I wasn't really feeling it right through there. I don't know why. I just I, have, I ain't never feeling that on Toho. I mean, they catch them there, but from what I know, Toho versus down there, down there is better historically. I can tell you this: all them tournaments that go out of Kissimmee, like Camp Mac. I don't see a ton of people running and locking it to her. I can just tell you that. And they catch 25 to 30 pound bags down there. But the difference between you catching a 30 pound bag and a regular bag is one or two bites. I ain't saying you can't get that on Toho, but hell, it's all blowed out with hydrilla. All right, here we are back at Cypress. I had to go come check it on out.
10. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> All right. So I'll take a 6 10 in a minute. Let me get about four of them a day. Go on back in there with him big sleep, baby girl. Mm -hmm. First bite, six pounder, six ten. I'll take that. She ain't up in there in that junk. I can tell you that right now. made it to hatch hatching a haul I don't know man it's been about the same as it always is you look at the weather and you're like oh man they're gonna be snapping same story every time you come here you go up shallow can't hardly get a bite you go out mid-depth, you can't hardly get a bite. Every time I show up at this, at this fishery, can't get a bite, can't get a bite. And then during the tournament, you're just out there just grinding, hoping. And a lot of times when you're in the tournament, you get lucky and get one big bite, and you're like, man, you had a good day. No, I really kind of stunk it up today. I just got real lucky. But what's that old saying? Rather be lucky than good. I'll take a little bit of luck. Ooh. That was good. I think it ain't done it. I bet it ain't done in that stuff. Watch this. Ain't Slowed down. 
started fish, fishing some of these little isolated pads. Had a few bites on them. I ain't had no big bites, but it's just a good sign to get a few bites. A few fish around the area. A few bites are better than no bites. Yeah, I think I can come in here. I'll be alright. Just poke around through here. That up there and on that side. Move in, move out. Put something. I call a six right up there. I know, put something together. Yeah, this is like worst case scenario. Come in here and chatterbait the fuck out of it. Y'all catch any big ones? Uh, you catch? No, I think it's, I don't let him tell you, but it wasn't nothing monster. He said he shook off a few nice ones. Mm -hmm. How about you? you got any I call six and a half, but mm -hmm. nothing, yeah. nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Sitting there on it. Huh? These sour packs kids fire. If you don't know, now you know. Hey, you got a big boy camera in DC. Hey, let me tell you something about you, DC. You got on today, good. You know how I know? How? Oh. Cause I ain't hear from your ass no more since this morning. So anytime you do that, you done smashed. I already know. You ain't got to tell me nothing. <laughs> look, I got you. I got you dialed in, bro. I already know. Look, sizzle calling. It ain't, it's, it's bad, bro. Bad day. All of a sudden, two hours, five, eight. You like, damn, it dark, mosquitoes. You like, I ain't heard from DC. Your monkey get a little worried. Y'all heard that. No, I ain't heard about him. You know they're real in the Hey, Kai, you know. ain't heard from me all yeah, day. Bro, and listen, <clears throat> call DC five times. Decline, decline, decline. Like, damn, DC don't love me no more. If, well, I'm going to be Hey, hey if he only knew, I had a trashy day. I call, I call a six pound, 10 ounce. Six pounder? Six pound, 10 ounce. You going to spit them up? No, you want them? No, but you know you like to spend. You gonna eat? Oh, them. I'm a hundred percent spitting these out. Oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that. <laughs> no, here's the thing. No, it, the it's thing. the sour candy. No, I don't understand the gummy this shit. Candy. All right. Perfect yeah, example. Eat a Reese's cup. Somebody let me know. Is this? Does this even make sense? Do you swallow gum? No. All right, I don't swallow. They ain't meant to be swallowed. These ain't meant to be swallowed. Boy. <laughs> Why they put all this good sugar in? Give me this. Listen, listen. This, this, you're comparing, you're comparing gum. Apples and oranges. Yeah, bro. not even the same. It's okay. Now it's time to go. You're, you're comparing oranges Wait, and palmellos. The They're close. They're the gummy. They both citrus. But after you get all the sugar and the taste off of it, it's gone. So then you swallow it. 
You know what I'm saying? So, so you don't even taste it no more. Right. That's what it's for let anyway. Me, let me tell y'all what I DC is doing. Out. DC take these gummies like this. These sour patch. These are phenomenal. Everybody knows this, right? Yeah. Okay. He chew them up, but then he spit it out. Because mm -hmm. I don't like that gummy in my stomach. Because he don't like and that gummy and in his stomach. All the viewers out there watching, go eat you a big bag of gummy bears. Tell me your stomach don't hurt. Listen. I promise you it hurts. probably do. <laughs> Don't eat them. But don't eat a whole bag. No. Probably eat you about a handful and be good. No, just chew them up and spit them things out so your stomach don't hurt. Hey, I'm still hey, there's enjoy there's the water taste. bottles. There, there will be water bottles at the end of the week in this truck. I didn't know already, bro. See what I got to put up with? I've been living, <laughs> I've been living with this, bro, for three, four, five years now. Bro. Every day. And I, 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 I got to have an oxygen just to get away from this eat guy. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. I'm going to swallow one. Oh, man. Don't do that. I'm going to swallow one. Mm -hmm. Just for you. Mm. I'm gonna spit this in out. <laughs> All right. That wraps up practice. Pretty grim. Pretty slim. I did catch one big one in practice, but. Man, I just don't know, big dog. I don't know. I just want to lay here and ponder and look at all the Spanish moss, 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 moss. I don't know, man. This this is a kind of a weird deal because I have no clue. I never know what I'm doing. I just kind of go with it. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know where to start. <laughs> I've got a couple of areas that I like, but. It ain't like they're just jumping in the boat. I don't think they're jumping in the boat for anybody. You gotta fish for these suckers. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go fishing tomorrow. I'm gonna go fish that area that I caught that six pounder. It blew 25 mile an hour yesterday. So I'm sitting here thinking like, I don't know if it's gonna be any good. Somebody please take a look at this. <laughs> this is what it, what it did yesterday. Like my stuff is beat up. Oh, I found my screw right there. Like it's all beat up from all the stinking waves. I got trash out grass everywhere. It was pretty much a big fiasco yesterday. Y'all didn't get to see it. Yeah, we didn't film during that. We didn't get to film yesterday, but it was terrible. I didn't really figure out anything. So, I mean, I'm, I'm being positive. Here's the positive side. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. That's positive? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I really don't know where I'm going. I, I don't. I don't know what tomorrow holds. The good thing is, is I'm optimistic that I can make something happen somehow. I don't know. So we're gonna run. I'm gonna throw bladed jig, pretty good bit. I'm gonna throw a lunker log at pads because I had a few bites doing that, but. That was in like a little baby zone. Like I did not expand on Kissimmee that much because I'm trying not to get spread out so bad. I mean, you can go to five different lakes on this place. So I'm sitting there thinking like, look, I really want to catch them on a jerk bait on like isolated clumps. And this is unique because all the fish are not on the bank. They're not like spawning hardcore, but I can't hardly find them out. You know what I mean? There's certain areas guarantee that they're up there spawning and just eating a swim jig out of your hand, but I never found that. So the mass majority of them are not up. And then there ain't a ton of them out. So they're that in between limbo. So I don't know. Best thing to do when that happens is just cover a bunch of water. And uh, that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna make a thousand casts. Hopefully I get five big ones. So anyway, this wraps up practice. Need to pull a hog out. Somehow, some way. It's just a great, glorious day. It's a, hey, I tell you what it is. It reminds me of Darbone last year. I have no idea where to get a bite at, but I, I would think I would get a bite. What if I don't get a bite all day? You can't think like that. I'm gonna get some bites. We shall see. I'm hoping. I have like two little areas that I really like. I'm hoping they ain't too muddy. If they are, we'll just scratch it and go practice it. It's called bass fishing, not catching. Y'all tune in to the next episode of DC Fishing. 
I appreciate you tuning in to this practice vlog. Thank you, there. Practice vlog. Like and subscribe. Out.